Oh, I actually hit him. I've been playing Fortnite on this 2015 5K iMac, and it is completely and utterly playable. But how playable can it be? Well, let's find out, shall we? Where'd he go? So, what has it been like playing Fortnite on this 5K iMac? To be honest, it's been pretty good, um, which shouldn't be surprising. This is a pretty high-end machine. It's not on par with, obviously, a Windows gaming PC. It is probably on par with a PlayStation 4 or an Xbox One. But before we get into the performance of the game, let's have a look at the specs of this 5K iMac. So obviously this is an iMac, a Retina 5K, 27 inch from late 2015. Its processor is a 4 gigahertz Intel Core i7. Its memory is 24 gigabytes, which I actually upgraded. It originally had eight gigabytes and its graphics are an AMD Radeon R9 M395X with 4,096 megabytes of the RAM. So yeah, those are the specs of this 5K iMac. They're still pretty good even by today's standard, which is only three years old. This is what I play all my games on, and for the most part, they work damn well. I was running the game under Mac OS, and then Windows 10 via Boot Camp, and then under GeForce Now. So let's talk about Mac OS first. I'm playing the game at a resolution of 1920 by 1080 and my windowed mode is set to full screen. My frame rate limit is set to 60 FPS. My 3D resolution is on 75.7%. View distance is far, shadows is medium, anti-aliasing is high, textures is high, effects is medium, post-processing is high, VSync is on, motion blur is on, yada yada. So those are the settings that I used in order to hit a, for the most part, consistent 60 FPS. Uh, I couldn't go above that at all. I mean, I could put it all on medium and get 60 FPS, but I really wanted textures on Epic. But my FPS when inside would always be 60 FPS. When outside, it would be about 48 to 55 FPS. Sometimes it would drop down to low 40s, but not very regularly. However, I did notice on the very odd occasion, a few little lag spikes that would last for like one second. It used to be a lot worse and would sometimes last like five seconds, but Epic Games seemed to have fixed that issue, which is fantastic. And also the, the fans here get very, very, very loud, but that is completely normal for machines like this. Um, you don't really have to worry about that unless it's getting hot, but it's not hot at all. It's normal for this machine to get loud fans when they're doing intensive work. However, interestingly, I wanted to try the game at its max resolution of 5K, otherwise known as 5120 by 2880. I then decided I definitely won't get 60 FPS, so I locked the frame rate to 30 and put everything at high, and I got 30 FPS consistently. And then I put everything to epic and got 30 FPS consistently. So I was kind of surprised there that um, at 5K, I was able to get 30 FPS. So then I tested the game under Windows 10 via Boot Camp. Um, you can install Windows 10 on Macs after 2012 for free. The, the, the performance was exactly the same, my settings entirely the same. So I saw no improvement whatsoever. For a lot of um, lower end Macs, Installing Windows 10 to play games is a much better option because, well, obviously you have more games to play and Windows is better optimized and you get better performance. But for higher end machines, it probably won't make that much of a difference unless you just want to play lots of different games that aren't under Mac OS, then obviously install Windows 10. Also, when I was under Windows 10, I would notice like crashes sometimes and I would just completely crash the desktop. So I don't know what that was about. I tried to fix it by doing everything possible and I couldn't. Next, I tried GeForce Now here in Australia. And if you're wondering, how did you get GeForce Now here in Australia? Well, I won a giveaway, luckily on Reddit. And I got a code and was able to just play it. If you sign up here in Australia, you won't get in anytime soon as our internet is complete garbage. So I was very interested to see how it would work here. And luckily I can play the game at 1080p 
have everything on Epic and get a consistent 60 FPS. That is GeForce Now. It is awesome. So yeah, that is Fortnite running on this 5K iMac. And it, it works fine. This is my main machine to play games. I bought this back in 2015 and it cost me 4,000 Australian dollars. And yes, I bought this machine to play games and I'm not afraid to say that. However, when I do say that, my job is playing Mac games. Okay, I, I share the latest Mac games. So obviously I am, my purpose of buying a Mac for gaming is fine, but the average person shouldn't go out and get this to play games or to play Fortnite. If you really wanna play Fortnite, you can play it on, you know, a console, a Switch, an iPhone, a Windows PC. There are many other options out there. The game is free and you don't have to spend this much money. That would be silly. But if you have one of these, go ahead and play it because it works fine. But yeah, that's Fortnite here on this machine. Let me know your thoughts overall, what you thought of this video and yeah. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video, which will be whenever I can. Bye.